In today's video I'm gonna show you how you can create this cool glowing lines instantly with only one free plugin. Stay till the end. Okay, so we move to Adobe After Effects and the first thing we create a composition. I already have one. It's a simple 4K resolution. So 3840 to 160 resolution. Frame rate, I go with 30 frames per second and duration 10 seconds from now. And let's press OK. And let's start working on this composition. The first thing I would like to do is create a layer, new solid layer. And this is gonna be our background. So we're gonna call this BG, which stands for background. And I'm gonna go with this color. You can copy this hex code. Let's press OK, OK. And let's lock this layer. And let's create a new solid layer. And we're gonna name it Saber. And we're gonna use a plugin right now, but don't worry. It's a free, free plugin. So you can just go to Video Copilot and just download this plugin. You can see that it's a 100% free plugin. Let's go back to Adobe After Effects. And on this new solid, we're gonna go to Effect and Video Copilot and choose Saber. And voila, we've got our saber. By the way, you can create a cool light sabers with this uh, free plugin. Okay, so what we are gonna do, we're gonna create a path. Of course, we can just go with a pen tool and create whatever we want. Then go to customize core and choose layer masks. And we're gonna have whatever we draw. But I'm gonna go with something cooler. And this is a cool trick that I learned a few months ago. We go to masks. We make a one keyframe here on mask path. Then we go to Adobe Illustrator and we choose spiral tool and we create a cool spiral. And then with this with selection tool, I select this path. I press Command C or Ctrl C. And then I go to Adobe After Effects and I press here on this keyframe, Command V or Ctrl V and voila, let's select those points and press Command T or Ctrl T and just make it bigger. And we've got this cool spiral. Okay, let's go with something like this. That's cool. And now we can reset those keyframes on mask path. And what we would like to do here is to play with end offset and start offset. So I'm gonna put a keyframe on those two parameters and then press U on the keyboard to see those keyframes. And here I'm gonna put 0% and here let's go with 100. Okay, so let's select those keyframes, press F9 to easy ease those. And let's put those end offset a bit further. And we should have something like this. Really, really cool. But let's make it a bit slower. Let's adjust those keyframes. Maybe let's go to two seconds mark. And okay, that's cool. We can also play with those keyframes, move one a bit further. And in this way, we're gonna have this line a bit longer. And now we can go to this Saber plugin and just play with it. I'm gonna go with end size to maybe 5%. Okay, you can see what I did. I'm gonna increase the core size and start roundness and end roundness to one. Okay, this looks really, really cool. And what I would like to do, I would like to duplicate this effect. So we've got two sabers on one solid layer. And here we're gonna press U again. We're gonna move those two keyframes a bit further. Okay, and here we're gonna go to preset and select fog. Okay, and we can see that the first saber disappeared, but we need to go to saber and go to render settings and choose composite settings to transparent. And here in render settings, let's select add. And in this way, we've got these two sabers in a one solid layer. And you can see what, what we did with this uh, second saber. We created this cool fog which is going behind our main line. Okay, we need to adjust those keyframes to make sure that they are not separated. This looks nice. So we've got the line and the fog going on too. Let's change the label of this uh, solid to keep the timeline clean. And let's just duplicate it. Command D or Ctrl D. And here we can go to mask. Let's click here on mask and then Command T or Ctrl T. And just maybe make it smaller. This is gonna be the second. 
uh, layer and the third and let's do the same to mask okay and we've got three layers i'm gonna change the resolution to quarter because on full it's lagging a bit so we've got those three sabers going on really really cool but let's make it even more cooler so i'm gonna go to saber and change the color maybe let's go with pinkish okay and the second one maybe let's go with with some green greenish okay let's put them a bit further in time oh this looks really really cool okay we can of course duplicate those layers and maybe change the label and then maybe scale those and maybe we can those layer blur a bit and let's put them beneath those three layers so this is just one of many many ideas that you can do here with this cool cool effect and let's render this and let's see the final result and that's it for this video let me know in comments what do you think about this one i hope you liked it i hope you learned something from it it's a really quick and cool plugin to use and what's the most important here it's 100 percent free so have fun with it and what can i say more have a great day and to the next time bye